So every now and then I do something. I dyed my hair. I finally did it. Stay tuned if you want to see how I achieved this look. So for the products used, I used Age Beautiful Cream Lightener. For my toner, I used Wella in the color T18, Lightest Ash Blonde. And for both of these steps, I mixed it with 30 Developer by Clairol. I also have the generic store Shimmer Light Shampoo to remove the brassiness. Mix one part lightener and two parts developer really well so the consistency is even. You want to take your coconut oil or whatever product and oil your entire head, the entire thing. Here you see me applying the mixture, starting in the middle because it takes the longest to turn. Um, I'm applying it with the brush I also got from Sally's or the beauty supply store for a dollar. Get your mirror girl and get that back. Make sure you cover all the spots. Full coverage people, full coverage. Then you see me applying it to my edges. Those turn really fast, making sure that I got everything covered. You see it's already turning on the sides in the middle and it's burning, sis, it's burning. Oh my God, this burns. What the f I'm about to rinse it out in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to wait 10 minutes long if this burns. Chemicals. I don't know if they keep it real with y'all when they do this but this is burning me, okay? Like it's tingling, okay? It's the most healthy, okay? 25 minutes in, I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like I'm trying to make sure it's all like the right color. I'm crazy, I'm about to rinse it out right now. Shit, so step one is complete. This is just the lift. I'm about to put in the, I think I'm about to wash it next with the, conditioning shimmer and then put in the toner oh my god <laughs> after shampoo and conditioner i let my hair air dry for about 30 minutes i then mixed the toner with the developer and applied using the same method as before i made sure that i got my edges as well because the girl got thick sideburns and make sure make sure you get that back covered okay i'm gonna let this I'm not for as long as I'm going to take them in the back of the bed. So, I'm going to be sore at, I'm about to go to the gym. I'm going to come back and be at the toner and try my best to keep it in for about um, 20, between 20 and 30 minutes. I'm going to try my best. But I'm going to tell you, my scalp is not happening. Okay, so let's talk about this blonde, okay? Um, so like I said, my hair is already growing out. It's been about a week. I dyed it Halloween day. And ironically enough, I was Rough Rider Princess E for Halloween. I'll put a picture right here. Um, that was fun. So I dyed it thinking that, okay, you know what? It's gonna grow back in like two weeks, so let's just go with it. I love it i had to process it twice i'm gonna really say one and a half because if you see in the video maybe right here this it was burning okay my scalp was on fire and i watched a thousand videos before i put this in my head and ain't nobody kept it real with your girl and said that it might burn when i tell you guys i felt like it was controlling me like it was burning so I definitely want to caution anyone that is um, wanting to do this at by themselves at home please make sure that you 
take care of your scalp leading up until the day that you dye it. Try not to itch your scalp. Um, oil it as much as you can. Coconut oil, shea butter directly on your scalp. Anything that can protect your scalp from the chemicals is definitely necessary. Let me know if you have any suggestions as far as conditioners or things to keep the color up. Any tips at all. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, thank you guys so much. Almost to 600 subscribers. That is amazing. I love you guys so much. As always, be light. Peace. Hey.